Today in Flash, we are going to be taking a look at placing the contents of one Flash file into another. So often you will have Flash elements such as preloaders or image galleries that you would like to be able to drop into your current Flash project. To do this, first open up your Flash documents. I already have two image galleries open that I created in previous Flash tutorials. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go up to File, then New, and create a new ActionScript 3.0 document to put both of these files into. And then after that I'm going to make the background black so that we can see our files a little bit better. After that you will first want to go up to Insert and then down to New Symbol. In the box select Movie Clip from the drop down and give it a name. I will be calling my movie clip Gallery 1. So after that go ahead and click OK. Now we essentially have a blank movie clip on stage that will act as a convenient container for anything that we would like to put into it. In this case we are going to be adding in the first image gallery. So over in my simple gallery file, I will select all of my frames by right clicking on any frame and then going to select all frames. Then right click on any of the keyframes again and go to copy frames. Then head over to our new document and right click on the first frame of our blank movie clip and go to paste frames. Now all of our gallery has been copied to this document. If we go back to scene one, we can drag the gallery one movie clip from the library. Be sure to take note that all of the assets from that file were also transferred to your library. So now that we know the process, this makes copying our second gallery over super easy. So first we want to make a new movie clip called Gallery 2. Then we copy all of our frames from our next and previous gallery. And then we paste them onto the first frame of our blank movie clip. Now if you get a message such as I did, select the option that says put duplicate items into a folder. This will keep your images, buttons, and other objects that were named the same thing from overwriting each other. After that you can drag this gallery onto the stage and scale it however you would like. Since each gallery is contained in its own movie clip, there is no need to worry about conflicting action script. So now if we go up to control, test movie, and then test, we can see that both galleries run perfectly. So as always, if you enjoyed this Flash tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.